Well, hello there. How y'all doing today? Boy, have I got a surprise for you today. I wish I could tell you the name of the home. This one is so new on the lot, they're actually still in the process of finishing up the setup. I do know it is 32 foot by 76 foot long. So it's a very large home. I can tell you all the rooms in this home are extremely large. The kitchen has two islands. Yes, two islands in this kitchen. Colors in this home are as, about as different as the colors on the outside with the red and the white. So it's a very nice home. I want to say thank you to Centennial Homes for letting me come film the homes. Now we're not going to be able to get to the back side. And it is kind of noisy out, wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so we're going to head on in. And we do have this really nice recessed entranceway here. Now once we come in, you've got this nice little foyer, and as you can see, the colors are just as different on the inside as they are on the outside. They went with kind of an orange color on the inside of the home. Got a nice little nook right here to set your keys, your mail, whatever else. Your phones. You see they've got the uh, USB plugs there. Got a nice coat closet right when you walk in. Now keep in mind this is, home is still being finished out. It has not been fully trimmed out. Although it does look like they're pretty close to finishing up. You'll see a few things kind of here and there that aren't done. But you've got this extremely large living room here. Like standing back as far as I can. You can barely get the whole living room in the frame of the camera. Great big tray ceiling. I see they went with the upside down crown molding up there, giving you a shelf to put like some accent lighting. I've seen them do that in a couple other homes. They put some accent lighting up there. Looks really nice. Hence the reason for, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a plug right there. And then you've got this really nice entertainment center, built-in HDMI cable, got the electric fireplace, this really nice stonework they've got here. Your HDMI cable comes out right here. Plenty of shelves to set everything on. Really nice entertainment center built in. And you can fit just about any size TV in there that you would you could think of putting in. And over here, we've got a sliding glass door. As you can see, your kitchen or your kitchen <laughs> kitchen's over there. Your dining room is very large. But now, as I said, your kitchen, you got island number one, island number two. Really nice countertops I used here. So you've got some nice cabinets down below here. Soft closed drawers and doors. It's 
really deep cabinets here next to your fridge, which are these stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Great big window above your sink. And they went with this really nice backsplash here. And I know some of you don't like it because it does make it really tough to clean over here next to the stove. They went with the gas stove here. You got the pot filler. I'm sure you can easily get the uh, glass top if you wanted glass top electric instead. Pots and pans drawers, lots of cabinets all the way around, great big tall cabinets. Now mind you, I said they're still finishing out, your, your uh, hood still hasn't been finished out yet. And here's that other island, call this the vegetable prep or the prep island. And you get dual ovens. Now I don't see a microwave in here, so you obviously you'd have to option that in if you wanted one. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Kitchen large enough to have two islands. And then you get this great big den. Nice archway above there coming in. And off your den, going to be your utility room. And we've got our coat rack with our foot locker and all that. Our electrical box. This is going to be where your water heater and your furnace are at. So on the back side here is the furnace or the water heater. And you do get the sink in here. Lots of cabinets in here. Nice to see a full set of cabinets above where your washer and dryer is going to go. And your bedrooms, as I said, they're really large. You also get in each bedroom these coat cloth or coat racks with foot lockers, right when you walk into your bedroom. Now, like I said, they haven't finished everything yet, so you've got all the electrical connectors still kind of hanging out. But you got nice double racks in there. And this bedroom, you've got the same coat rack right there, right when you walk in. Both these bedrooms feel about the same size. And our bathroom. Got a nice big counter in here. And hello Raiden. Really nice light fixtures up there. One piece shower tub combo. Now your master bedroom is recessed off of your living room 
So you're not looking straight into the bedroom. And it's a great big bedroom here. So again, they went with the orange colored paint in here. Can't say that I've ever seen that before, but I will say it looks pretty good. It really adds an accent to that tray ceiling. Or your closet is a very large closet. You do have a door that goes into your bathroom. So you've got the double racks all the way down. Nice, great big built in. All right, and we'll come check out your bathroom. Once again, you've got that orange paint kind of offset and everything. Looks really good in here. Now, I would normally have those lights on too, but the fan comes on when you turn those on and that fan is really loud. But a nice set of cabinets on each end. And you've got your center stack. Got some nice drawers down below. Dual sinks. So overall it looks really nice there. And that is a very deep tub. That's at least a five foot long tub. Thigh high. So, or mid thigh, I should say. So, pretty deep tub. Of course, there that goes into your closet and there's your toilet. And then we've got our big tile shower. They went with a slightly different color than what I've been using in them. I like this gray and this glass inlay they've used here. It's a really big shower. Once again, this is about four foot wide, six foot long, or five foot long, I should say. So let me know down below, what do you think of the colors they used in this home? It's definitely different. I like it. I might even consider it for my own home. It, after seeing it, it does look really nice, actually. Let me know down below in the comments, what do you think? Do you like the home? What would you like to see different? What would you like to see changed? What do you think of the double islands? While you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Upload three times a week. And with that... I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. So we once again successfully toured a home. Now this one is uh, obviously a very orange home on the inside. You can get different colors if you want a different color, obviously. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty bold statement with all that orange. Speaking of bold, I tell you, I got this soda called Merchant's Craft. It's uh, Washington Apple. If you like Granny Smith apples, that stuff is some really tart apple flavored soda. <laughs> so I've never had it before. Raiden decided when we were at the store that he wanted to try it because he saw it said apple on it. It was caffeine free, so I figured what the heck, why not? But anyway, back to the home. This is made by Friendship Homes. This was at Centennial Homes in uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. And... Uh, you can tell this is probably my old camera that I filmed it with. This was the very last home that I ever filmed with that camera. Then I switched to the one that I'm filming on now. So that's why it kind of looked a little bit different. And that orange definitely made it a little bit tougher to film. I mean, it was, uh, you can see kind of in some places it uh, got dark. And then even the skin tone looked a little orangish in places. So uh, anyway, we got to get some price information on this home. Okay, so this was in August of 2023 when I filmed it. And uh, this home can be had in both 
modular and as a manufactured or a HUD home. So the manufactured version of this home starts at 230000 I don't have the price as shown, which this is the manufactured version, not the modular. So the modular version of this one, though, would be 265000 is a starting price. Of course, you know, modulars, they got to have cranes and, you know, they're built to state code versus HUD code. So there's a little bit of difference between them, hence the price difference. But with that said, 2,300 square foot, you got the vegetable prep island and a regular island. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.